What's good, my people? Today, we are going to try to put the last 10 MVPs on one team to see if they can go 82-0. and And we're probably going to give them about three seasons to do so. So the last 10 MVPs go all the way down to Kobe Bryant. So Kobe, LeBron, D-Rose, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nikola Jokic, and Joel Embiid. Those are the last 10 NBA MVP. So we're going to put all 10 of those players on one team and see can they go 82 and 0 in like three seasons. So I put the team on the Washington Wizards. I know the Pistons have the worst record in the league, but the Wizards actually have like no sense of direction. At least in Detroit, you can build around Kay Cunningham and probably Jalen Duran. You're not building around Kyle Kuzma or Jordan Poole. So we just changed them out. So we got Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James, last year, Joel Embiid, current MVP, Jokic, 2007-2008, Kobe Bryant. Um, I forgot what year Giannis won MVP, but, you know, kind of current Giannis. He plays the exact same run and dunk, man. Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, OKC Thunder, Kevin Durant, James Harden in Houston, OKC Russell Westbrook, and, of course, Chicago Bulls, Derrick Rose. Now, I'm actually going to let 2K judge the rotation here so they're going to start d rose kobe kevin durant lebron and joel and b Jokic is the sixth man Giannis is seventh curry is eighth harden is ninth russell westbrook is 10th and everybody else on the team is an ai they're not going to run an 11 man rotation so we're going to swap that down to 10 redo this minutes change a little bit no ai player will get any minutes that's crazy triple double russell westbrook though is a 10th man in rotation. And y'all probably don't think Derrick Rose should start, but MVP Derrick Rose was insane. We forget how Derrick Rose was because of the injuries, but he was crazy. So yeah, our first attempt at going 82 and 0, our first game we beat the Pacers 158 to 119. LeBron had 33, KD 26, D Rose 22. Giannis 18 and 8 and also let me add that I took every player off of their team so no Joel Embiid on Philly no Giannis on Milwaukee um who else no Russell Westbrook on the Clippers then if we keep going we don't have no LeBron James on the Lakers no Nikola Jokic on the Denver Nuggets and then Steph Curry is not oh Kevin Durant is not on the Phoenix Suns and Steph Curry is not on the Golden State Warriors and that's crazy because now Draymond Green is their best player if Draymond Green at age 33 is your best player you're in for a long season buddy so game two versus the grizzlies 146 to 105 d rose kobe lebron joel and b kevin durant look y'all know me who been on the channel i like to simulate through the first 10 games oh okay well we didn't go 82 and 0 this season we got smoked by the hawks we lost by 31 to the hawks Dejounte murray had 34 trey young had 28 deandre hunter had 27 is this just 8 of 14, 5 of 12, 8 for 11, 4 of 13, 5 of 12. I mean, this is not the worst shooting. 3 of 9 is not good, and 4 of 13 is not the best. But, bro, 31 is insane. So, season 1. And then we turn around and get popped by the Miami Heat. Did the coach change something? Or did they change something? Russell Westbrook getting less minutes. They say Harden minutes should go down. Steph Curry's minutes should go down. I mean, I have us running a 10-man rotation, but for us to be getting popped back-to-back -back like this, Terry Rozier, 28, Jimmy, 23, Hami Hakez, 21, I'm not understanding how we struggling. Steph getting two points, Harden getting three points. Like, I don't know whose offense we're running right here, but I mean, the first 10 games, I wanted to sim through and just kind of see the stats and see what was happening, but I did not think that we were going to lose back-to-back -back blowouts like that. So we're eight and two in the first 10 games. Of course, that puts us second because the Miami Heat somehow or nine and one and if we just look in that stats just to kind of see early leaders it's a lot of scoring nobody in the 20 points a game percentile i mean this is kind of like an all-star team i don't i don't know like i we, we like i said we, we just did not capitalize on 82 and no here i want to go to the all-star break and just kind of see how we look at the all-star break we're not getting a goal in season one of 82 and 0 but i am going to be interested to see how many games we actually lose all the way up until the all-star break if we don't lose a game for the rest of the season and we go 80 and 2 then i'll be shocked and i'll just say that that loss wasn't supposed to happen but we are playing some close games though this boston game was 122 to 106 the hawks was a 17 point win a 10 point win versus the thunder so it's not like all of our games are blowout games whatsoever okay so at the all-star break we are 51 and 3 we lost again to the philadelphia 76ers who have nobody because we took joel and b 
Tyrese Maxey all-star leading 31 points a game and it's just you know it's just just bad basketball right now we still I'm pretty sure we're first yeah of course we're first in the east nobody else is even competing close to the record and the stat wise let's see good points all around Westbrook is the only person not averaging a double figure digit you know what I'm saying point percentage Kobe shooting 50 40 almost 90 leading us in scoring LeBron 50 40 70 Joel Embiid 50 33 92 Derrick Rose almost shooting 40 percent from three Kevin Durant little underwhelming normally he's 50 40 90 but he's down a little bit let's see Nikola Jokic 55 43 I mean it's not it's not bad basketball it's not the worst basketball we're just 51 and 3 and I wanted us to be 82 and 0 I also don't expect anybody on this team to win uh like MVP but then again maybe I just feel like the game doesn't give MVP like because they recognize the team is so stacked that they're not going to give MVP to somebody on the team because of that then the numbers might be underwhelming 17 a game compared to somebody that's probably averaging like 29 8 and 8 Luca is is not on the team so Luca could for sure win MVP and we lost again we lost twice the Boston Celtics 138 to 136 let's see Tatum 29 Brown 27 Porzingis 24 who stunk it up on this side nobody really stunk it up I mean one of four one of three is not the worst D Rose two of seven is not the worst but I mean I guess I guess the Celtics are really like that playing the Kings Jokic is 0 for 3 and now he took all three pointers KD 6 of 14 Giannis I don't know if I should have like touched tendencies or something to really see like you know make certain people shoot the ball more and maybe that'll help but five losses in season one six losses in season one we got to bring it back for season two and try to get you know what I'm saying that 82-0 I fully seven losses so we're not we're not doing what we're supposed to do 75 and 7 not good enough I wanted to see 80 and 2 and like I said Luca could for sure win MVP with crazy numbers 37 11 and 9 I mean that definitely should be MVP Wimby wins rookie of the year Jonathan Kaminga six man Wimby Depoy Paul Reed most improved Booker clutch player of the year averaging 30 with no Kevin Durant of course we get coach of the year I don't know how he got executive of the year nobody on our team is going to make an all nba team because we're too stacked so yeah literally nobody made an all nba team because our team is too stacked i don't even think a player would make okay lebron made all defensive team and that's it ending season stats of course we finished first in the east so we don't even have to look at that ending season stats had kobe leading us in scoring westbrook still was the only person who did not get in double figures Westbrook started four games and played 82 games so our lineup changed throughout the season they didn't keep our same rotation because guys was in and out of the starting lineup so I wonder what it looks like now Steph is now starting they took D Rose out made him the eighth man Russell Westbrook is still the 10th man but Steph is now in the starting lineup with Kobe LeBron Giannis and Jokic they took Kevin Durant out the starting lineup and made him the seventh man so it, it's just certain things that I'm not controlling. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't, we shouldn't lose a playoff game and we should definitely win the NBA championship. The Clippers are still gonna make it. No, they didn't. I was gonna say the Clippers are still gonna make it to the finals, but they lost in six to the Pelicans. And then we played the Pelicans, but we definitely should wipe the Pelicans clean. A good sweep 4-0, of course, we win the championship. Giannis gets the finals MVP. All right, so coming back into the second season, LeBron is a 99, Jokic 98, KD 98, Kobe 98, and B 97, Steph 97. Giannis, D Rose, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden all regressed and got worse. So I want to see what coach does for this season. We're going to rebuild the rotation. First of all, actually, we're still going to go 10 man rotation, rebuild it. Okay, so we're going with kind of what we had last year Steph starting, Kobe at the two, LeBron at the three. Giannis at the four, Jokic at the five, KD and then B, Russell Westbrook, D Rose, James Harden. So Harden is now the 10th man, getting 14 minutes a game. First game versus Milwaukee, we win by 58. The Grizzlies, we win. I think we lost game three last year, but we won game three, game four. We lost game five against the Miami Heat. So 82 and 0 is not happening this season either. But after the first 10, we can see what we're looking like. We were 75 and 7 last year. So if we beat 75 and 7, we get closer to 82 and 0. 10 game sample size, we are 9 and 1. Stat leaders, LeBron is leading in scoring. Harden and Westbrook are not in uh double digits for point averages, which is okay. Who leads in rebounds? Jokic leads in rebounds off the bench. No, he's starting. Jokic leads in assists as well. But we got four players 
with six assists and Kobe is fourth on the team in assists y'all be saying Kobe don't pass the ball Kobe leads all shooting guards in NBA history in assist totals by the way and don't say it's because he plays 20 years he actually passed the ball when he needed to but our goal because we're not going to get 82 and 0 is to beat 75 and 7 and then we'll probably have some kinks figured out to where next year in season three we can possibly go 82 and 0 so that's all we got to do First 20 games were 19 and one. Okay, so so we lost, we, we lost to Cleveland. Darius Garland gave us 35. It wasn't even Donovan Mitchell, it was Darius Garland. And yeah, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, stinking it up. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to the All-Star break and see what happens. So at the All-Star break, we are 51 and three. We lost to the Spurs. Victor Wimbanyama, okay. Isaiah Collier was now drafted, 27. Wimby, 28, five and five. I don't know who's stinking it up over here. I wanna see if the rotations change at all yes Embiid starting at center now instead of Jokic Jokic has moved to the sixth man James Harden and Russell Westbrook are still player nine and ten at the all-star break so 51 and three I still think that James Harden and Russell Westbrook have not cracked 10 points a game they have not but their shooting splits are not bad Harden is 57 basically 50 89 Westbrook is shooting 40 percent from three but Russell Westbrook is having a 50 40 90 season so 51 and three that means we can only lose four more games if we're like to tie last year's record of 75 and 7 okay there's an L we're gonna lose four more games to tie that I feel like we can beat 75 and 7 I low-key would make the rotations the way that I want to make the rotations but I think the computer changes it before every game so it doesn't allow me to change it and then like let it stay the same. But we're looking good here. 76 and four, 77 and four, 78 and four. So we got three more wins than last year. It looks like we're, we're primed to go 82 and 0 next season. Luca, back to back MVPs, 30, 10 and nine. Steven Castle, don't even know who that is. Like I know his name from the draft, but don't really know him all that well. Cam Thomas, Six man of the year, averaging 25 off the bench is good money. Wimby winning deploy back to back. Pozemski, most improved player. Tyrese Maxey, clutch player. Of course, with our 74, I mean 78 and 4 record, that should happen. But I still don't see us getting anybody on all NBA teams because we're just so stacked. Maybe defense. Kobe makes the all defensive team this year. LeBron back on all defensive team. That's smooth basketball right there. Player stats though. We have LeBron still leading us in scoring. Jokic is second. Kobe is third. KD. Giannis and yeah of course we finished first in the east so we're simulating the play in and I got us winning the championship again like we're trying to go 82 and 0 on 78 and 4 it's prime for us to win the NBA championship back to back because it's like if we don't win the NBA championship then the game is rigged but we played the Pelicans again for another sweep back to back versus the Pelicans back to back sweep new finals MVP though Nikola Jokic good basketball all right this is the last chance to go 82 and 0 so now kevin durant is a 99 with lebron kobe is still a 98 Jokic went down to a 97 so we got Giannis, d rose Jokic, and curry all at 97s westbrook and Embiid are 95s and then harden is a 92 so westbrook went back to normal because he started at a 95 harden started at a 95 but did not progress since season one and this year we are starting the season with lebron james coming off the bench i'm letting 2k do it d rose kobe kevin durant Giannis, Jokic, lebron off the bench at the six man steph joel Embiid, and then of course russell westbrook and james harden are still um nine and ten so i'm gonna do first you know what i'm saying first simulation we beat the Cavs by 30 we beat the spurs by 24 i'm gonna go through the first 10 and just see can we go 10 and 0 for the first time in the simulation if we go 10 and 0 i'm very confident in us going 82 and 0 okay pause right 10 and 0 we went 10 and 0 first 10 games i'm gonna check the stats here and durant okay lebron is fourth in scoring but he's averaging you know what i'm saying eight rebounds eight assists it's not bad basketball 10 and 0 i like that now listen we got to get to the all-star break if we don't have a loss by the all-star break because we made lebron james come off the bench in the second unit it's almost like what the Lakers could have did with Russell Westbrook. All right, Luka's just getting it done, bro. He's he's getting it done. Uh, three back-to-back -back MVPs, almost like 30-point triple-doubles in all three seasons. Cooper Flag, rookie of the year. Cam Thomas, another six-man. Wimby, another deep ploy. A men most improved. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to get anybody on all NBA because it just doesn't happen. We didn't even get, okay, we do get Kobe on all defensive second. But we finished the season 80-2. and two. I don't understand how we didn't go 82-0. and zero. But maybe the game is designed for you not to go 82 and 0. Derrick Rose ended up leading us in scoring with basically a 50 close to 40 90 season. So 54, 39, 90 season right there. I wholeheartedly have us winning uh, the NBA championship this year. 
the Bulls, we sweep them 4-0. The Hawks, 4-0. The Pistons, 4-0. NBA Finals, we now face the OKC Thunder. And I have us sweeping them 4-0 as well. Nikola Jokic, back-to-back -back Finals MVP coming off the bench. And I don't think anything changed. Yeah, we still had LeBron coming off the bench. D. Rose off the bench, led us in scoring. So, yeah, we tried to go 82-0 with this roster, and it just didn't happen. The closest we got was 80 and 2. Maybe I need to build a team from scratch to try to go 82 and 0 with. Throw some legends or something in here. But yeah, man, appreciate y'all stopping by and sticking through. Make sure y'all hit that sub button, drop a like, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.